Welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Today we're exploring Chapter 8 of ICD-10-CM, which focuses on diseases of the ear and mastoid process, with codes ranging from H60 to H95. These codes are essential for coders working in ENT, ear, nose, throat, clinics, audiology, emergency departments, and primary care. Let's jump into how to accurately code conditions related to the ear. Section 1, Chapter Overview Chapter 8 covers conditions that affect the external, middle, and inner ear, as well as the mastoid process A bone located behind the ear. The conditions include infections like otitis media, structural issues like perforated eardrum, and functional disorders like hearing loss, tinnitus, and vertigo. Section 2, Key Code Categories Let's go through the key sections and some examples. H60 to H62, Diseases of External Ear Include swimmer's ear, H60.3, ear abscesses, and impacted cerumen, earwax. Example, H61.23, impacted cerumen, bilateral. H65 to H75, Diseases of Middle Ear and Mastoid Include serous and suppurative otitis media, H65.4, H66.9, eustachian tube dysfunction, and mastoiditis, H70.0. Example, H66.91, otitis media, unspecified, right ear. H80 to H83, diseases of inner ear. Includes otosclerosis, labyrinthitis, and Meniere's disease, H81.0. H90 to H94, hearing loss and other ear-related symptoms. Hearing loss is categorized into Conductive, H90.0, H90.2 Sensory neural, H90.3, H90.5 Mixed or unspecified, H90.6, H90.8 Tinnitus is H93.1x Example, H90.3, bilateral sensory neural hearing loss H95, interoperative and post-procedural complications. Includes infections or hearing loss resulting from surgical procedures. Section 3, Key Coding Tips and Laterality. Here are some important guidelines when coding from Chapter 8. 1. Laterality is essential. Many ear codes allow for. Right ear 1. Left ear 2. Bilateral 3. Unspecified 9. Example, H61.22, impacted cerumen, left ear. 2. Differentiate acute versus chronic for conditions like otitis media and mastoiditis. 3. When coding hearing loss specify. Type, conductive, sensory neural, mixed. Side, right, left, bilateral. 4. Don't forget to link ear conditions to underlying causes when applicable, e.g., otitis due to allergies. 5. For post-surgical complications, use H95 codes and specify what happened, e.g., H95.0, post-procedural infection. Section 4. Real-World Coding Examples Here are a few case examples to put these codes into context. Example 1. Patient has bilateral impacted earwax. Code, H61.23. Example 2. Child presents with acute otitis media, left ear. Code, H66.92. Example 3. Elderly patient with bilateral sensory neural hearing loss. Code, H90.3. Example 4. Patient diagnosed with Meniere's disease, right ear. Code, H81.01. Example 5. Otitis media due to post-tonsillectomy infection. Code, H95.0. Section 5. Common Diagnoses to Know. Here's a list of frequently used codes in Chapter 8. H61.23, Impacted Cerumen, Bilateral. H66.91, otitis media, unspecified, right ear. H90.3, 
Bilateral Sensory Neural Hearing Loss H81.0, Meniere's Disease H93.11, Tinnitus, Right Ear H95.0, Post-Procedural Infection of Ear And that wraps up Chapter 8, Diseases of the Ear and Mastoid Process in ICD-10-CM. This chapter might look small, but it covers a wide range of conditions. Always check for laterality, specific type of hearing loss, and acute versus chronic conditions to code correctly. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you found this helpful. Up next, Chapter 9, Diseases of the Circulatory System, I00 to I99. See you there.